you mention an instance of um, acknowledgement of pedophilia? Was that it, or uh, what was the name? Do you know? Harvey Milk. What what grade was that instance, or that example of an instance? Kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I believe it was fourth grade. Fourth grade. Do you know the context? Um, do you have an example? Of there was a bio and with a, a photo, a half page that I that was shared with me from that book that I saw that I found to be wildly inappropriate based on his lifestyle choices and some of the things that he was involved in outside of his political career. Can I just clarify one point? Sure. Uh, the Harvey Milk section is not actually in the fourth grade textbook itself. It's in the supplemental resources of the biography that can be a choice that people read from. It clarifies that what his lifestyle was and it just clarifies that he was responsible to, for some of the movement in California with gay rights. Yeah, my question is why even mention a pedophile? He's not a child. I beg, I beg to differ. What has that got to do with our curriculum in schools? Why, why, why? That's a form of activism. It absolutely is not because w what that has to do with history is that in this country, we have protected classes. It's a federal law, it's a state law, it's a law in the whole country. Oh, so and you think pedophilia those, is protected? Excuse is that a protected me, class? absolutely not. Okay. I am not just talking about pedophilia. I know, but I'm, we're talking about Harvey Milk in the context of, okay, of Mr. Gonzalez. Okay, maybe Gonzales you should saying, read his biography because okay. I think you might have a different impression of the definition of pedophilia. Oh, I, Any, I have a I have there, impression anyway, of him. There are a number 